Hello, this is a demo of the FreeBusy integration with Ring Central. If you're not familiar with FreeBusy, very briefly, it's a very easy way to share availability with people outside your company and to take meeting proposals uh, from them and to propose meetings with them. So it's all about intercompany collaboration and how we can make that much more efficient and faster. So what you see on screen is my FreeBusy page which is a way for me, I, I, when I sign up to the product, I get a link, I share it out with everybody. It creates an experience like this where people um, can propose times and uh, enter their name, propose times, pick from uh, what I am available. And then when they go to uh, enter the details of the meeting, they're prompted for a title, for a location, and for notes. In this case, uh, I have it set in my preferences to use a predefined location using the Ring Central, uh, you know, web conferencing uh, integration. So the way that's done is uh, back here in another browser session. So here I am signed in as myself to FreeBusy. The previous uh, screen was what someone external to my company would see, but here I'm signed into FreeBusy as myself, and I get to set meeting preferences. And one of the meeting preferences is about meeting location. And so I can uh, ask the person to propose a meeting them, a location themselves, or I could preset it. And when I preset it, I can use any of a number of integrated web conferencing services, one of which, of course, is Ring Central. And you see here in the screen that I've integrated my Ring Central account. Um, the way I've done that is that we have a uh, here in the calendars and integrations section, you can add a variety of integrations, one of which is Ring Central. I click on add. I went through the OAuth authorization uh, and authentication process, and then, sorry, it ended up uh, here in connected calendars and integrations. And so I have an entry for Ring Central over here, which I can choose to remove at any time if I so desire. But back to availability preferences, all I really did was decide that I want to use Ring Central for when people propose with me, and that's what effectively generates this experience for the people uh, outside of my company when they propose meetings with me, uh, you know, such that the location is preset to Ring Central. So let's follow through with this example, and let's say the name is Joe. Um, joe at company.com so let's say this is the person proposing the meeting with me under details they say uh let's test this thing some notes if optional if i want to they can review and send. Here's me, Stefan. Here's the person proposing the meeting. Here are the details. The location is set to Ring Central meeting. I click send. And during this time, it's using the Ring Central API to go provision the conference call details to put them in the event and in the meeting and then to stick everything in my calendar. So now that the meeting has been proposed, what does my calendar look like? If I go at the time that the meeting was proposed and I see that it's hosted by me because I'm the organizer, Joe, the person that proposed the meeting and that I've accepted, uh, you know, is set as the participant. Joe got this calendar invite from me automatically generated by FreeBusy and it says the location is Ring Central meeting. There's a dial-in number. This is the dial-in number provided by Ring Central. It's put in the location field as well as repeated in the subject line, sorry, in the body and the meeting notes. And in, in the meeting notes contain the notes entered by Joe when the meeting was proposed along with instructions and, and pointers to how to connect both to the online meeting and to the dial-in. And this right here is the Ring Central integration with FreeBusy.